So this one here, we're going to do the wrap three pull two, okay, which is just a different version of actually tying it on instead of the sling. So what we're doing is we go over the top, okay, we're going to go around our three times, making sure that we keep our tape nice and flat there, okay, all the way around. Okay, so once we've got to that there, we're just going to tie our first knot here to our thumb knot. Okay, keep it nice and straight through there. And pull this one through, making sure that we keep it nice and flat there so we don't twist it. Starting again, we're just going to go over. Pulling it around, following that one all the way around. And you can see I can adjust it each time to make sure that I'm going to have plenty of tail coming back out through our back of our knot. So our tail, a minimum 100 millimetres. The idea of that is to making sure that it doesn't pull through at any stage there. So it's going to have plenty of tail that it can't just feed back through again. Okay, once again, grabbing this one, pulling that one tight, pulling that one tight, that one, and that one. Okay, so once we've done that, pull it out like that, we grab the other two, and we're just going to pull the whole thing through. So we pull these two all the way through. And what we want to do is end up with our knot Sitting, oops, sitting right at the very, very top here. That way, when we want to look at it, we can check it. So you can see the other end there, we've done the same thing. We want to be able to see the knots at any stage. So somebody says, oh, have you got the right knot there? They can have a quick look there and making sure it's okay. And the reason we have the knot here, so when we're pulling on our anchor, and if anything happens, we pull, it's not actually going to put any load on the knot itself. So I can pull as hard as I like, and that's still a little bit loose there. So we're not actually putting too much load straight onto there and overseeding the knot itself. So once again now we've got our two tails or two loops coming out here, okay, grab our carabiner again, our wonderful trip lock carabiners, fantastic piece of gear aren't they? Okay, so what we're going to do is hook it back through so we're ready to go like again, on there, sitting it back down onto our bag, the reason we do our bag, especially when we're practicing, we're not dropping it onto the ground here, uh, hitting concrete damage in the trip lock, or into sand or dirt, and we're going to keep everything nice and neat. Okay, so we've done the other end, so now we come up to this end here with the wrap three pull two. We're just going to undo it again here. Okay. As you see, gloves are fun, but we've got to be using them because they actually could catch us on the way through. Okay, so same thing again as before. Go up and over, pull back through. Okay. So as you can see here, I just sit there, it's a lot easier to be working with, so don't drop it back on the ground or anything like that on the dirt. Okay, got our sling, go through our sling, go through our carabiner, pull it up and over. Okay, have a look at it again, double check that we've got our knot in the right spot there. A little bit of a slack there, so we're going to pull that through to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, so what we've got there now, we can actually put a little bit more tension. So to get your tension in, it's easier just to keep on going like this and feeding it through. Some people go, it's too hard to be pulling through. That's how this works. It works on friction going through there. If we release that and pull that a little bit there, we can start tightening up a little bit more and more. Okay, so when we, got, when we think we've got it reasonably tight, we're just going to lock this one off down there. Now, I'm not actually going to tie off yet. I'm just going to lock that off. So I might have to readjust it a little bit more on our way through. Once again, check the gate. Looking through here, looking at our system, making sure it's okay. That way we can go down to the other side, put some more tension onto it until we get our actual uh, main line, sorry, static line, nice and tense to the right tension. Then we can lock off and tie off properly. So we've locked off and tied off the other end over here. And what we're going to do now is unlock. Okay, we've unlocked, we're going to put our tension on there. So say that's our tension that we want on there, no more. Now we're going to lock off. So lock off, we pull that over and through. We're actually putting that through there, which is going to use friction to stop this pulling through. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our loop. Okay, so we're going to pull out there, okay, we bring it over and through, to itself. Now, the reason we're doing this, we're going to pull it nice and tight. So as you can see, as I'm pulling this tight, it's pulling this down. So what that stops that from popping out again and actually releasing. So we pull that over like that and down, and it's nice and tight right through there. Our second one stops that first one from coming loose. And we tie it off nice and tight again. We're going to keep it away from the carabiner so that way it's not going to get caught up in the carabiner. Pull it nice and tight and check like that. So once again, we've dubbed this end here now, as you can see through there. It's pulling this down, so that means that this can't flick out. 
checking everything again on our system, having a good look, making sure we're happy with everything. We would then tidy our rope up if we've got lots of rope out there. That way if we need to use it up in a hurry, it can be done at any particular time. Okay, once again, you can see our system there nicely done. And from time to time, we would check it. At any stage we need to do anything like that, we can undo. Okay, we can do our lock off, tie offs there. Okay, we can bring it back over, we can release. And as you can see there, we want this to be pulled that way. That's why we go up and over and back through there and tie back off again and do our second one as well. Okay, so really, really important that we look at that each time because that's why we're doing that tie off section there. Nice and tight like that. Okay, it's pulling that back through. 